Indonesia is a middle-income country with a rapidly growing economy. With a population approaching 250 million people, demand for energy is growing. From the biggest city to the smallest village, people need power. In a world attempted to curb the effects of climate change, conventional sources of power will need to be phased out. Yeah, BPT actually focus for the renewable energy. Yeah. Uh, we try to do uh, research yeah, to get uh, innovation yeah, in the field of renewable energy such as uh, geothermal, biomass, uh, wind energy and solar energy. UNDP supports the development of a market for renewable energy in Indonesia. So why are we doing this? Firstly, Indonesia, in order to continue to grow economically, needs power. And currently, demand is outpacing supply. So if we were to cover the growing energy demand in Indonesia solely by fossil fuel-based forms of energy, Indonesia's carbon footprint would skyrocket. Secondly, we still have about 50 million people in Indonesia who don't have access to energy and small-scale off-grid renewable energy solutions can provide access to energies for communities. Jadi listrik yang kita panen dari tenaga matahari maupun dari tenaga kincir angin bisa dipakai untuk membuat es kristal yang sangat diperlukan oleh para nelayan dan warung-warung kuliner di sini. Terutama untuk pengawetan es, pengawetan ikan itu sangat berfungsi sekali. Kalau dulu itu beli dari luar, dari Tenggula. Lebih mahal nggak Pak? Lebih ringan di sini dari PLTA. Uh, dampak masuknya listrik di tempat wisata kami, yaitu Pantai Baru, itu sangat mendukung uh, percepatan daripada wisata. Keberadaan warung kami untuk pengadaan es uh, kuliner, kemudian juga air, itu tercukupi dengan adanya listrik Dulu dari sini pantai ini satu tahunnya hanya 25 juta. Sekarang sudah mencapai 300 juta. Oh ya? Per tahun. With under 6% of power generation sourced from renewables, Indonesia needs to rapidly increase its capacity in order to meet its own target of 23% by 2025. A future target will likely require stronger commitments given global signals ahead of Paris. The challenge is there to be completed.